commentary position to open the batting for the 19. Bill Laurie and Ian Healy. Thank you, Simon. The first ball gets him. Gilchrist has gone first ball. Wasn't that the great fast bowler? Got it to move the way off the pitch. Gilchrist gets the edge. And what a start for Pakistan. It's one for Nana Klein to a stadium. The great man's done the job for his skipper. They talk about bouncing back. Haven't they done it in great fashion? This is the ball they didn't bowl enough to Adam Gilchrist the other night. Straight. Movement away from him from a perfect length. It took the outside edge and Akram up with his Pakistani friends. Gilchrist out. One ball, one for none. Net. Oh, back pad, he's gone! There's his cock, ball, it's two for none at Colonial Stadium. Inside edge onto the pad, two to Wasamak, but what a start for Pakistan. They're down one nil in the series, and all of a sudden Australia, after winning the toss, after three deliveries, are two for none. Ball swinging. Hits the pad, Ponting. Could have been an LBW chance. Then it goes onto the bat. And Akram, a brilliant catch. The captain's all over him. Darrell Hare's fingers up. Ricky Ponting's gone. Three balls now, four balls. It's two for none. Struggling with the arc of his bat. It's going from gully to mid wicket, not straight. Dropped it short and he's played the penalty. The first bad delivery of the inning so far. And it goes for four. Wacky Eunice's ball is the first foul. One bad ball. Jimmy Ma puts it away. He did feel it going cleanly and thought it was out. And that one's out. Wide. Jimmy Ma goes at it. This time there's no need for the third umpire. That's a big healthy edge. And Rush in Latif's got his second catch. Mozem Akram's got his third, and deservedly his third wicket. Jimmy Ma lived dangerously while he was at the crease. He never looked settled today. The bowling's been good, the pressure's been on. Hasn't been able to cut loose and play his natural flowing game. Mozem Akram, he's too good a bowler in these conditions and the form he's sort of he's in at the moment. Jimmy Ma departs the ball, 3 for 23. Two years, two years ago. Shot. Just eased that through the covers, Darren Lehman. That's a shot of a man in form. Probably the most convincing shot of the day. Ready the second boundary. Australia 3 for 34. It's tried by New Zealand with some success. Superb shot. That'll go all the way. And a long way over the top as well. Used his feet. Down the pitch and hit it a couple of rows back, and that's well caught as well. Yeah. Could be the difference tonight. Gets a long way across Darren Lehman. Long way across towards the offside. And that occasion he's got just a little touch on it. Just had a bit of a Safely away from the fieldsman in the air, but he's picked the gap. That's their fit. Between Damian Martin, Darren Lehman. No ball was the call. He really is having trouble there, Azam Mahmood. <laughs> oh, it's over the slips. They've kept the slip in all innings. Lehman gets away with it. It's 22 overs gone. Three for 86. Oh, Lehman out to the short ball. Didn't angle it into the body. He hung it out there and so did Darren Lehman with the outside edge. Well, Pakistan deserved this. Bowled well when Mahmood struggled early on with the ball. His last two or three overs have been much better, particularly since he's gone round the wicket to the left-handed Lehman. This time he's angling it in. Was about off stuff. Just went away a little off the seam. Lehman follows it, tries to play his get off strike shot by running it down to third man. And just keeps rushing the teeth. Catch number three. That's removed his first wicket. Lehman gone for 31. Australia now four for 89. Good shot. He got on his legs. He's whipped away for four. Very good shot. Put the loose ball away. Very few have been down the leg side. 
two players that they replaced. Shoaib Malik, the young off spinner, has gone out of the side. Freddy. Fifty for Damien Martin. That's a well made fifty under pressure. It's fifty coming off the seventy eighth ball, so just gives you a bit of an indication there that the uh, innings needed resurrecting after the loss of three early ones. Can be pretty dangerous. Uh... Oh, that's out. Yes, he's hit it straight to backward point. Well, Damien Martin has got out there a few times. They've got the fieldsman in position, and uh, that time it was caught. Pakistan have hung on to this one. Damien Martin given a chance over before for Shia Dafridi. This time they make no mistake. Good catch. Went pretty quick and quite low to Imran Nazir. Good young fields when he made no mistake. Damien Martin, a well compiled 56 of 87 deliveries. Five for 121. But signs are that he's trying to get on with it. Oh, a goal! And he's given him. Wow, what an appeal that was. I've got to say that uh, my first reaction was that he was forward, it was angled in a little bit. It would have to have turned. And, uh, to be straightening down the line, umpire Russell Tiffin there uh, paused on it for a while. Pretty straight, he's bowled straight all day, Shahida Freedy. Watson down the track a little, walked across his stumps, but close enough for Russell Tiffin. Yes, so that's the end of him at 6 4 and 38. He's got it away, a big shout for him. He's given him. He's coming forward, two RVs to Afridi. He's got three, and all of a sudden there's seven down. Big wicket, good spell by the weak spinner. And this ball hit Chain one very full. He's turned the ball a lot, Shahid Afridi. Spears them in towards the stumps. Chain one on a narrow stump, skidding on. Certainly wasn't missing off. The only question Russell Tiffin had to ask whether it was sliding down the leg side. He didn't think so. So here to freeze now got wicket number three. Warren departing for one. Australia now seven for 143. Pickle may have got one. Gets a fine bottom edge. Breaks the drought. Andy Pickle comes in and plays a sweep shot. Oh, he's knocked him over. That's what good pass bowlers do. Dead straight. Eight for 163. And that's a big wicket. Very important but from a Pakistani point of view. The fast bowler crashes through the defensive bickle. It can be the danger sometimes of exposing your lower order early in the over. Never took the single first ball. Excellent delivery though. Show of Akhtar. That would have got a lot better players out than Andy Bickle. Swung back in late. Kept coming off the seam as well. Right through the gap between back and pad. That was fast and ducked in quite a long way. Bickle's gone. For seven, eight for 163. Good figures for a guy that's bonded 148 point K. Absolutely perfect scenario for Pakistan. They're behind their over eight, and they're taking wickets. And now they've removed the, the dangerous Michael Bevan, who loves to be there at the end. Once again, it's the bounce and the carry in the pitch. And the keeper takes that, rushes the teeth. That's catch number four for him. It would have hit him in the throat. So there's still some bounce and pace there, and Akhtar is using it. Bevan departs for 39 for 164. Three crosses out to deep backward point. Coming back for two. 
Got to be close to get out. He's out, surely. Yes, well, that's McGrath. So he's run out. They're all out for 167. A very good performance by Pakistan. They bowled well. Wasn't McGrath was superb. And Inzi at the end, a good throw. Got the run out. That's the end of McGrath. Pakistan with a real chance in the second challenge match here at Colonial Stadium. Makes a piece of feels him wins him arm. Not the quickest across the turf. He realises McGrath's labouring. Throws to the bowler's end. And he's got a very good, strong left arm throw. In Zamar Malhak. Throws it flat. One bounce to show you the has got back to the stumps. McGrath's out by a metre. Or over a metre. So excellent bowling innings for Pakistan ends with McGrath being run out. Other parts for one. But Lee, three not out. Uh, Akta, two for 30, bowled well. So did Afridi. He's a good all-round cricketer. Three for 28. Imran is here right behind that one. Fielder, there's a chance he's hit. And there's a run outside. Anwar not even asking the third umpire. The Australians, exactly what they needed. They've created panic in the Pakistan running between wickets and Shane Watson. Direct hit. Yeah, great fielding, sloppy batting down the non-strikers end. Look, he had no reason. He started to run, then went back. Perhaps there was a bad call down the other end. Who knows? But uh, he seemed just a little bit sluggish coming back, and he must have realised as soon as the ball hit the stumps that that was the end of that. Not a good feeling for the youngster. He's uh, been involved in a run-out with one of uh, the best players Pakistan have ever produced. So, there we are. Pakistan also one for none. Three sips in place. Can he use them? Oh, that's a magnificent shot. He's just drifted on the stumps, and Mahmood has middled it with grace. Shane Watson through the stumps down. Brett Lee, nip on back. Trap has Mahmood LBW. Caught behind. He has two. Brits and four runs. First half volley, beautifully played cover drive. See down on the bench. Good shot. That's a beautiful shot, in fact, because he's found the gap. Both the fields were coming in, point and cover. He's just scored a... Oh, he's hit that well. This is what happened to Warren when he came on the other day. Just a couple short, and uh, they get on to the short deliveries. Tables or so. Typically, if Yusuf Yohana was to go, but then allow Inzamar Mohawk just to take his time with plenty of boundaries being hit rather than trying to run too many if that leg is bad. Boys hit that one. It's hit the middle of the bat. It's flying down the ground. It's gone all the way for six. That's a magnificent shot. Yusuf Johanna has decided that uh, he's got to get worn over the top. And boy, they don't come much better than that. Stadium. Oh, and that's out. Got him. Caught slip. I wouldn't go if I was him. No way. Yes, of course, uh, the umpire gave him a little nod, but uh, having watched the Australians bat and uh, seen this when anything's taken low, you've got to stay there. Now, there's no doubt that was caught. And uh, well bowled by Shane Warne. He's made the breakthrough. It's a piece of bowling and a wonderful catch, too, to Damien Martin. Big wicket for Australia. Pakistan, four for 65. Just wide, just wide, and Inzamam hobbling down the pitch. It's getting worse and worse. This is going to go all the way, this one. And uh, is that four? That must have come off, uh, was it his gloves, perhaps? Brett Lee bowled a superb spell. Picked up two wickets, one uh, with a good off cutter, and another one with a beautiful outswinger. That's good shot, and he almost cleaned up Inzamam. Inzamam with his sore leg uh, struggling to move quickly. And I think he's. Stephen? How you going, mate? Gone. Well, 
Inzamam has been struggling with that leg injury, and I think the frustration showed there. He was not scoring a lot of runs, and I think he decided uh, it was time he hit a few boundaries. Instead, it was uh, Andy Bickle who hit. He values it as a six-pointer. Andy Bickle kicked the goal. Any celebration? Inzamam Al Haq looking to hit far too square, far too hard. Goal. Big wicket for the Australians. Four for 85, Pakistan, after 28 and a half. If you take that as protecting him, well, I'll take that. That's a good shot. Bound to get nicely on that occasion. No, that's all I wanted to hear, those words. It was the keeper's catch. I'm happy next week. The man at mid-wicket, but it's cleared him. Now, I think it's landed between the fielder and the rope. Only just. Shane Warne is not too thrilled about that. Slows it up a little bit. He too will get the same sort of turn as Darren Lehman got. Oh, it's nicely hit. And just inside the boundary. Long on. Ah! It's bowling. He's got one round the legs. He's been trying it. I think for the best part of eight or nine over Shane Ward. Once again, it was fairly flat and quick. Willis Khan went a long way across, exposed his leg stump and lost it. You should never doubt Shane Warne. He's been working on that wicket for a number of overs. Shane mm -hmm. Latif expecting that to turn and actually kept sliding down the leg side, past the pad, past the bat, just clipped leg stump. Big breakthrough for Australia. Rashid Latif, bowl worn for 16. Pakistan, 6 for 120. Oh, nice shot. Inside out over cover. One bounce over the rope. That's not an easy shot to play. Eunice can't. Catch! Got him. Excellent catch. Ricky Potting was moving to his left the whole time while fielding at mid-wicket. He left the gap at mid-on. Was tried to flick it through that vacant mid on area, chipped it in the air. Ricky Ponning has done the rest. Good catch, good piece of bowling. Darren Lehman's done it again. Absolute magic in those fingers. Two games in a row, he's come on with the big wickets. Shahid Afridi caught Ponting bowled Lehman for three. Pakistan falls seven for 131. Going down the order a little bit. It's in the air. It's a lovely shot. Chipped away. Two bounces for four. Pakistan seven for 136. He's got it away. He's got it fine. It's very well played. A lot of experience in that shot. Over bowled, 7 for 146. Yeah, it's close. That's very close. I think he's got him. Direct hit that look out to me. Brilliant fielding. Took the single. It took off, and I think he's gone. Well, it's dumb cricket. Uh, they should have been running four overthrows they may not get them if it if the run out is given but there were two extra runs there for the taking and they didn't bother to take them it was a brilliant throw but uh, for some strange reason or other the Pakistan batsman didn't keep running the ball's gone down about three quarters of the way to the rope they should have taken another two runs if the decision does go in their favour, then they get the runs. Ridiculous cricket. Seemed to be straddling to me. It was a brilliant piece of fielding. Here's the pick up. Here's the throw. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. To dodge around. He's home. So they've lost two runs. You're right, Ian Chappell. They didn't go for the overthrows. You had to go around Bentley as well. But that's home. Interesting one, almost interference there, not unintentional. We had to go around the bowler. 
to get in. Very, very close. There's any benefit to it. Must go to the batsman. He's probably not over the line in that angle. But there's a bit of shadow over. So how close can you get? He might have been uh, better off to go straight through the bowler and clean him up, and then he may have had a case for um, for interference. He's not going to get interference now. I know it's not deliberate uh, interference. The bowler's running to get to the stumps, but uh, he certainly was put off by going around the bowler. Yes, I said it's not across the line, which is probably fair enough, but it was very, very close. You're probably right, Ian Chapel. Here he comes, he's coming down the pitch and he had to go around, but he probably should have went straight through him. So that's a great piece of work by the fielding side. Pressure now on both teams. Eight for 150. Over the top, there it is, Pakistan win. Big victory here, Colonial Stadium. So on the 49th over, Pakistan take the second match. Man of the match. Yunus Khan, well played, not out 56, so we go to the Gabba on Wednesday, 1-0. It's goodbye from Colonial Stadium.